Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mel Fabregas once again from The Very Test Show with another special report. Today is Tuesday, June the 8th, 2010. This time with A.C. Griffith. But before we go to Griff, one of our listeners sent me a newspaper report stating that in the most tenacious effort to control the spin on the worst oil spill disaster in the history, BP has purchased top internet search engine words so they can redirect people away from real news on the Deepwater Horizon catastrophe. BP spokesman Toby O'Done confirmed to ABC News that the oil giant had in fact bought internet search terms. So now when you search the words oil spill on the internet, the top link will redirect you to BP's official company website. I call this damage control, or plugging a water dam with a finger. Well, let's go to today's special report. Last night, I had the opportunity to speak with James Fox. Today, another Veritas veteran, A.C. Griffith, joins us. Hello, A.C. Griff, how are you? I'm just fine, Mel. Thank you. I presume, uh, Griff, you've been following the news and mainstream media for, for whatever information we're getting. I wanted to talk to you to see what you have been able to gather on your side. You're, you're good in connecting the dots. But first, what's your reaction to, to James Fox's audio last night? It's another piece of the puzzle. It uh, makes the situation a little bit clearer to me from uh, all I've been able to gather. It, uh, it, it, uh, it does not surprise me. On your side, what are your sources telling you? That the leak is or the flow of oil coming out of the ground is much, much larger and not controllable. They cannot stop it, and they will not be able to stop it for at least another year. Another year? Yes. That oil will eventually make its way up the East Coast, across the Atlantic, and coat the beaches in Europe, I believe. Griff, this is... This is probably, uh, I'm not saying probably, this is, if this is real, really true, this has to be, in our lifetime, the biggest ecological disaster we have ever seen. On the face of the earth, yes. Yes, I believe so. But it may develop into more than, than even you suspect. There are those in, with background uh, that believe the, uh, the land, the seabed, uh, that piece of earth has been fractured. And you know the fault line running down the Mississippi ends right there. There were prophecies made by Edgar Casey and Gordon Michael Scallion and others about the Mississippi cracking and the Great Lakes dumping into the Mississippi all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. The Great Lakes are 600 feet above sea level. The Gulf and Louisiana is at sea level. So can you imagine 600 feet high water from all of the Great Lakes emptying into the Mississippi and um, finally winding up in the Gulf of Mexico? Can you imagine that? No, I cannot imagine that, but give us some what-if scenarios if this happens. Millions of people will die. St. Louis, all the major cities along the Mississippi will vanish. Uh, All of the buildings, all of the the uh, food crops in, in the lands that produce food, uh, Arkansas, all the states will be at least cut in half. Tennessee would be cut in half. Missouri would be cut in half all the way down. It would be a uh, disaster of the, of the first order, I believe. So states that are bordering on both sides of the Mississippi River are in jeopardy here? They could be. They could be. I personally believe that that's what we're working toward in the Gulf of Mexico. You see, if you take out that much oil that fast, now keep in mind we have another approximately 7,000 oil platforms pumping oil out of the Gulf of Mexico. Now, Mel, 7,000 platforms are pumping right now, and the oil spill, we'll call it that, is is vacating enormous millions and millions of barrels of oil every every week. If that, if are, if that, are, the, are these platforms operational right now, even with this happening? 
most of the platforms are. They're, they're not all, all owned by the United States. You have other interests there in the Gulf. Uh, recently, Obama said a curious thing on camera, and it was on the Internet. He said he was sending SWAT teams from the Department of the Interior down to those platforms. One of the past officials of Interior said he didn't know that they had SWAT teams. So that's a curious thing to do, isn't it? Now, recently, the Minerals Agency, and by the way, the chief woman was recently fired a couple days ago from that agency. They are primarily managed or, or had political oversight to the shallow or the uh, platforms that were above 500 feet deep. They required all of the platform owners just in the last week or so to refile all of the papers, their papers, for permits. That means that all of those workers on those drilling platforms are not getting paid. And the platforms, some of them going at half a million dollars a day payments to banks and finance companies, uh, are not allowed to work to make money to pay the interest or the payments on their platforms. For every worker on those platforms that they shut down, there's 4.7 workers on the shore that depend on that income. So you multiply all of the people that are idle now by decree, and uh, you have a sizable number, thousands and thousands of people, in addition to the money lost on the oil and the platforms and the banks and the, the financing and all of that. Now, Obama, by I don't know if it was a presidential decree or, exe or executive decree, uh, executive order, rather. I was groping for that right political word. Or just because, you know, in this administration, this is a fascist administration, clearly. Uh, they match the, uh, the behavior of Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini and their management skills and, and the, their procedures. Um, Obama shut down the deep wells. That are that are drilling today, and it was uh, I don't know something like thirty some uh, platforms. So they're facing financial crisis along with the people on the shore, along with the workers, along with with all of that support that goes to them. And then he was talking about sending SWAT teams down. Now, what on earth is that about? And we didn't hear one word after that that uh, presidential statement. And uh, it appeared on uh, on the internet. You could see the video. So it was no mistake that he said that. So there's an awful lot going on down there. I'm not surprised to see the security. I think it's uh, uh, a catastrophe of the first magnitude in, in the making right now. And I think it's going to affect the United States. It could be very well the demise of the United States as we know it, uh, Mel. <sighs> And let's just once again be clear, just like I said last night, our intention is not to spread fear, but to try to inform you. Because if you turn on your TV and you put the, the regular channels, Fox, CNN, CBS, ABC, all you're going to get is minimal. What we're trying to get to, to, to you folks here is what's happening behind the scenes. First of all, my biggest concern right now, aside from the, the catastrophe, the ecologic outcome that this is happening is the the First Amendment rights of those reporters who are going there and are now being arrested. And I just got confirmation from somebody on the ground yesterday stating that this is true. And people in the Grand Isle area in Louisiana are not talking because they fear. And this is the term that they're using, the king. They, they call BP the king. So they don't want to, to be threatened by them. What's your take on why the media, of the media blackout? I think it's totally out of control. I, I don't think anybody in any oil company or any government uh, can stop it. I think it's not only coming out of the pipe, it's coming out of the ground, I believe. That's my belief. How do you stop oil from coming up out of the ground um, five miles uh, or a mile? What is it, Mel? Is it a mile or five miles? <laughs> I, I, it, it's a lot. It's a, it's a lot. lot. And what you're, you're saying so it's is a mile down. Yeah. it's almost as if the earth has cracked and there's no way to put it back. That's right. Now, if you, if you look beyond the oil, you'll see that the plates come together. The, 
the building blocks of uh, 